Hey guys, <coughs> I'm going to show you how to install the plugins needed for PlayStation on the PC so we can play SOPA on X-Link. First, in the description, I gave you a link. It's on my Google Drive, but the link is for this file. Files needed to run SOPA 2. So we're going to download it at the arrow at the top. It's gonna pop up on my desktop. That's right. Now extract it. When we open a folder under plugins, there are two plugins you need to copy to the installation folder of PCSX2. You right click PCSX2 and then open file location, the plugins map, and there we're gonna paste them. You can place a file in your destination. So I'm gonna run PCSX2. Sorry for the noise. Um, under config and plugin BIOS selector, make sure the Dev9 is Giga Raisin. You have the liter too, but make, take the Dev9 Giga Raisin, not the BR, just the Giga Raisin. Configure it. And make sure it stands on switch. So switch and then the name of your re of your Ethernet adapter. So switch, okay. Apply. Okay. Now we're gonna run the game. Boot fast. On the right side I have another PlayStation connected to my PC so we can follow it. I'm going to go to LAN on the other PlayStation. I'm going for we're going to go to the edit network configuration as well. So, edit, edit, now as you can see, it's all corrupted standing on the top of each other. That's why I'm using this one to show you what's it stand what it stands for. So it automatically starts with the add setting. So we're gonna add a setting by pressing X. Save location is memory card slot one or maybe slot two for you. I'm gonna push the right arrow. Select your hardware by pressing X. Then the right arrow again. Confirm this by pressing X. It's not required, so again, right arrow. The P address setup, we're gonna use auto for the first time. The second time, we're going to go back and then we're gonna use manual, but first we need auto. The DNS server, also auto, right arrow again. Name the setting. You can as you can see here it's setting 4 and here it's setting 2 on the other the connected PlayStation this is the PlayStation running on PCSX2 so I'm gonna leave the name press the right arrow and these two digits we need 29D8 or 3031 but actually we need this huh? that's what we're going for so 3031 Surf to the web page Xlink PS2 Assign. The first page you get teamxlink.co.uk slash PS2 assign. Click on it. And then as it said 3031, the last two digits of your MAC address. 30 
31 Calculate your IP address Copy it to your desktop So create a new text document document Paste it So you are not gonna lose it Back on PC at X2 Now we're gonna push the, li the left arrow just to go back on the P IP address setup so now we use your down arrow once so it stands on manual as you can see you can't see it right here so but I did it so press X to select it then the, ref the, the right arrow for IP address, it's so easy right here, but it's so a pain in the ass on the PC as you see. Um, press your X button. Now for me, it's, it has to be 10 at the beginning, so that's very easy. 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Press your right arrow. 5, 253 the right arrow again 48 and 49 like this and press X now for the connected PlayStation um, it's just an example so I'm gonna use 1111 so press X so you can follow it now push your down arrow once for the net mask I'm gonna give you the example that needs to be the same right here so but it's obvious it's easier to see there you press your down arrow once for the number 255 the, the right arrow once again the number 255 press down once and press on X now we're gonna do the same thing on the PC as X2. I'm gonna select it, press down once, right, press down once, and we're gonna select on we're gonna use X. Now the last one is your default router. Down once, same on the PlayStation. If you want to know what's your default router, just go to your network settings by opening network and sharing center, right click the button, open it. Under connections, just press on Ethernet or your Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter actually. On the details tab, you have your default gateway, like it says here. 192.168.11. You need to look at it because yours can be 01. So make sure you're right that you put the right default gateway in. I'm gonna do this. First uh, I'm gonna do it on the PlayStation that's connected. So press X on the other one also, press X. Then 192 right arrow 168 one, 1 now the same thing on the PC as X it's much harder to do it's 50 60 70 80 90 100 10 20 30 40 50 60 70, 80, 90, 2, 168. That's very easy now. Oh, 1, 1. And then on X. Gonna use the right arrow. 
DNS server is automatic, so write error again, name the setting, like what you want, write error again, and on this page, if OK, press the X button, so we're gonna press the X button, it's saving it to the memory card, the save is completed on the PS3 x 2 just let it do its thing on the old console, then the save is completed. Press X. Do you want to test the connection? No. Press X again. And press X once. Once more. I'm gonna now press on circle to edit the network, uh, to leave the network settings. Left arrow once and click on quit. Don't need this anymore, this was just an example. Let it load. Now it's gonna load by saying um, there's no network adapter attached, it's no problem. Just when that pops up, close it. And also close your PC as X2. Oh. Also close this and start it all over again. But before we're gonna open it again, we're gonna start up Xlink. So I'm gonna use Xlink by first going to configure K or Kai. I rather prefer Kai actually. Now as I showed you before on the PCSX2 plugin, plugin setting, um, where it says you need to have to have on switch and your need your adder, your, your Ethernet adapter, make sure it's the same Ethernet adapter that's standing here, and that's all you have to do. Just save it. If it opens up again, no problem. Just close it. As you can see, like I said, no network adapter. It's no problem, it's just a little glitch. Press X to return to the main menu. It's gonna take a long time, well, a pretty while actually, <coughs> to go to the main menu. Do not close it yet to corrupt your save data or whatever. Look, now it says an error has occurred, it pops up without doing anything, and it disappears without doing anything. Now, when we're here, just close it. Also, close your PC as X2. And run Xlink. Start Kai. Start your K engine. Kai, doesn't matter. Make sure you're logged in. And switch to arena mode, go to PlayStation 2, go to SOCOM 2, I think you all, all you guys did it already, and then go to SOCOM 2 and NTSC, and like, it see, like you can see, all you guys are sleeping right now, so user is the only one and that's me, so I don't, I don't think there's gonna be a room, but now we're gonna open PCSX2, boot it fast, don't do anything with the network adapter, now it will be registered and it will be found, so there's no error right now, oh, maybe there's one thing I can say about uh, your X-Link Kai, 
and you push your search glass and you can see uh, the network card or it's locked or network reachable the public port is not open in your router so make sure you go to do that and port forward this in your router to make sure it has a connection If you guys want to know how, uh, how my settings are on PCSX2 to run this game actually I will make snapshots and a little video of it so you can see what my settings are but it depends from computer on computer so it's not uh, like you can use mine to make it work on yours so I'm gonna go land select the setting 4 you can see I already did it a couple of times but also in different languages so just log in connect obvious so you can see no rooms even if I refresh the list no rooms yeah obvious there's one little thing you can do to check if it's all right when you're on the diagnostic mode you see it switch to diagnostics you can press this to switch the diagnostics view and here you can see my PlayStation 2 is um, he, he found my PlayStation 2 so he's working again the MAC address 3031 and that's the, a sign that it's working so I hope you enjoy it and have a lot of fun with this tutorial so thanks for watching boys